Hello Collective, welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all as a love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families. As always, I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies in intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled, being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Okay, so we have someone that's still planning, plotting, a group, couple, whoever. It's still plotting to try to steal something from you and they're going to try to get away with it. It's not going to work. Okay. Yeah, this game are sideways. So it could be that this person does not have support behind the scenes for what they're doing. This is like a one man show now. This is like the last of the Mohicans still standing. Uh, but someone is trying to steal your work, it's trying to steal your glory, it's trying to take your flowers that they haven't worked for. This is an entitled creature. Someone that does not earn this unmarried. They want what belongs to other people. I'm telling you. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> There, 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 there's some type of anger <laughs> that's going on. I don't know if someone was sent towards you to meet with you and do you something, but it didn't go out according to plan. It said someone was supposed to come towards you, give you some type of speech or do you something. Like this is a whole collaboration, okay? This is a whole collaboration. They want you trapped in your mind, trapped in the past. You don't have any fond memory of the past, memories of the past. So you're probably not even sitting around thinking about the past, but the past is thinking about you. Okay, the past wants you to think about it, him, her, they, whoever, she, him, whatever it is. They want you stuck in the past, baby. There's a tower going on about a relationship, baby, that's still coming on. Something about a queen of wands in reverse. This woman keeps coming out in reverse or when she comes out, it's always some type of negative energy around her. Either the devil, the eight of swords, three of swords, the seven of swords. There's something going on. Something going on. Okay. Uh, there's some type of collaboration going on. And I don't know what this has to do with it. But I see the six of cups out here in reverse. That means that there's something where it's that like you don't have any fond memory of a person, a couple, a community, an institution, whatever this is. Could be some type of collaboration. I don't know what this is. Is that they're trying to steal something from you? Like your work? What's bringing money into you? So that you can end up trapped, bonded, strapped. And, you know, having all just looming thoughts and everything. They don't want you to think positive or nothing. They don't want you heal or balance. They don't want you being sincere or nothing. Getting in touch with your inner child. But you're still out here showing up in this, this Queen of Pentacles energy, which means you're someone that's very grounded, very down to earth. Like you know how to stabilize your energy. I said stabilize and the strength came out. There could be a Leo in here, but you know how to stabilize your energy. Like there was a plan, there was a plot for you to meet with someone and they were supposed to trap you with some type of lie, something, and it didn't go according to plan. So there's some type of reworking like the group has to go back to the drawing board or something the truth is out about all the, the maybe the truth is being illuminated i'm not about to put in no fancy terms the truth is being illuminated okay the truth is being illuminated Shit. i'm telling you it's to take you out there could, people, there could even be people in a community that don't want to work with a queen of uh, pentacles anymore. Like, they don't want to meet with her. If there was some type of meeting that was scheduled, they don't want to meet with her. Like, no one wanted to meet with her. It's like people are letting go or something or walking away because they're seeing this woman for who she is. This could be somebody's wife that's plotting on their husband as well. With this full of swords out here, followed by the king, the king of cups, and then you got the queen of pentacles and dad ten of swords she's plotting on her husband or her son some masculine within her family or in her life she's plotting on him trying to take him out so that he does not step out and have some type of new beginning but this man is using his strength to move forward to make this offer in a hurry 
right in order to take this new direction and put her into something all the manipulations and things like that like there's something that whatever this woman was whatever relationship she had it's over she may have had a, re, a relationship with this man for a long time and he's seeing her now as someone that disingenuine someone that relies on magic for everything wants to be seen as an empress whatever that like someone is very i don't know what in the world that she's plotting someone's ending, someone's demise. That she wants him out of here. That's not want him having wish fulfillment. I'm telling you, does him that's not want him balancing things out, trying to steal his fulfillment. He may she may even be trying to steal money from this man. Like he's trying to get away from her to go be happy somewhere else. Maybe he's single now with this knight of nine of cups out here. Someone is single and living life in the upright. They may have had him. Caught up in some type of court case. Maybe they had this man locked up for uh, things that he did not do. It was some type of collaboration to have him caught up in the court system. Maybe he's free now or he found his peace with a situation. Maybe something is being balanced out. I don't know what this is, but well, that's kind of disturbing. Like they, they had someone locked up just so he wouldn't be able to move on with his life. Are you serious? And he's still moving on? He said, I don't care. You got me locked up. I'm still not coming back to you. I'm still not getting with you. I still don't like you. <laughs> I still don't want you. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, he's getting away. Yeah, the relationship is over, man. I don't know what to tell you. It's over. Oh, it's over. And you trying to kill him? Excuse my French. But you're trying to take him out? You're trying to take your husband out or your son out? Your whoever this is? Because what? And they don't want to be with you? Is that what is that what we do now? I'm telling you. <laughs> is that what we do now? <laughs> is that what we do now? When they don't want us, we just go and take them out. Take them out, take them out. He said he don't want me. Take him out, take him out. <laughs> really? Dang. This could be something where it's like these two have been together for a long time. Childhood friends with the Six of Cups out here. They've known each other more than likely for a long time. But the relationship is not a healthy one. It's too many alarming cards out here, people. We got the Four of Swords. That's the, that's the, that's not as bad. But let's see how it, it, how it progresses. Four of Swords, Seven of Swords, and Three of Swords, Eight of Swords, and Ten of Swords. There's a lot of Swords out here. It's a lot of sores. This has never been a happy relationship. I hear something about like an agreement between these two. Some type of agreement. But this is not a happy relationship. This man don't got no fond memories of the past. He's trying to get away from the past as fast as he can, as far away as he can. And they are so unhappy. I don't know if she thought she and this man was going to meet together. He said, no. Nah. He said, nah. <laughs> nah. We don't need to meet. We don't got nothing to meet about, talk about. Nothing. I don't moved on. You need to move on. He's moving on to start somewhere else. Be happy. And he's burdened. Like a brother is trying to balance his life. Yeah, I said balance and split my dag went on the temperance. A brother is trying to balance his life out. And they're out here trying to complicate his life for him. It don't make no sense, does it? It never will. But if he, if he didn't know, now he does. Hey, it's the end. There, I'm seeing too many endings. It's the end. He said it's over and he's standing his ground. He said, that's my word and I'm sticking to it. My word is my bond. It is done. For some of you, there could be like a court official that's heartbroken because there's something playing out really horribly. Or he's he or she is upset because they made the wrong decision. Or maybe weren't able to meet with you or something like that to balance something out. But I don't know if they know that people are tempering with you in the background so that you don't get some type of communication. There's some type of collaboration going on to cause some type of just distress, heartbreak, a setup. There's some type of setup going on. It's like everybody in the setup, the collaborators agreement whatever we want to call it is all like trapped in their mind 
pissed up, angry. I'm telling you, this queen of pentacles here, listen, whoever was married to this woman is married to this woman in a relationship with this woman, whatever this is, you may want to be careful because someone is in some type of energy that is dangerous. This woman is trying to take somebody out. She says she's not about to live in a world where she sees you being happy elsewhere. This is her energy. She's trying to stop your new beginning with a queen of wands. Someone you find to be very beautiful. But baby, guess what? You two will be moving on and investing in one another. Balancing this situation out. Taking a new path, new direction. You may want to talk to this woman you're going towards. Ask them for advice. Because someone may have a lot of knowledge about a situation. And they'll help you look into it. And find the truth out because there's a lot of manipulation, anger, and jealousy that has been going on for a long time. But whoever that Queen of Pentacles is, you all may want to be careful. Oh, she's mad, mad. She is mad. I don't know who, I don't know who this is, folks. I don't know who this is. The, the Four of Wands wanted to come out. Yeah, she's mad about some type of relationship coming together. Oh, yeah, but it's judgment by the spirit realm. It's judgment. Betrayal. There's some type of karma playing out for this woman. Whatever she's been trying to manifest for this man, it's about to happen to her. Hey, It's about to be in that ten of swords energy, getting a taste of your own medicine while you're out here plotting on someone's life because they want to be free and happy. You're under judgment. It may be also another woman in here, like another queen of pentacles that wants to apologize to someone. I don't know if you know who this woman is. Listen, just be cautious with all of these characters because at one point, they were all in collaboration in cahoots to take you down, destroy your life. And something is like about to be exposed as going to have these people in some type of sticky situation or this is already playing out. But it's not looking good. It's not looking good, folks. It's not looking good. They were trying to take some type of action to end you. And it's, it looks like that's what's happening today. Is there something... Like, there's an energy that's being mirrored back to these people. Like, the ancestors, they said, whatever plan these people have, they're all over it. Something is being exposed. People's lives are falling apart. <laughs> like everything they're planning the universe says is a no it's like it's a reversal thing that's going on like they put out some type of energy to end you and the universe returns they say oh you want that person to be on a life you be on a life oh you want that person to lose their job you lose your job you want that person to be divorced you you get divorced you want that person to be homeless you be homeless it's something like that and while they're going through all of that look at you right into your ten of cups and theirs is coming to an end. There's some type of collaborative effort that's been going on behind the scenes that has to do with a Ten of Cups and a Ten of Pentacles. And it's all over. It's over, folks. It's over. We've been told you all it's over. It's over. It's over. I don't even feel like singing the song because we're just over it. We're just over it. Two more days, folks. And I'll be doing something else, something new. Ah, so happy. Thank you, sisters and brothers. <laughs> hey, thank you, ancestors. Two more days. Our Almost got my stuff laid out. Two more days and no more of these cormics and there. Whatever they have going on, you're going, you all will have to figure it out. You don't got to go home, but you got to get the heck up off of my platform because I ain't covering you all ever again. After Wednesday, <laughs> it's done. Okay? Anyways, thank you so much for watching the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. You are greatly appreciated. I will see you in my next read. Stay blessed and goodbye for now.